faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Seaver Bell. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I am live today, and I am uh, just going to do a little bit of a drawing stream, just have a little fun with uh, some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, if you haven't checked out Project Justice League Part 2, we just released a trailer today, um, and it's 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 got good reception so far, so I'm very thankful for that. I think that's very awesome. Uh, thank you to uh, everybody that involved in the project, and, um, and yeah, so just going to get into it. Uh, gonna do a little bit of uh, Hawkman, as you saw in the thumbnail. I'm just gonna draw him in a uh, in a pose, and we'll see how far we go. Um, if you guys join in the comments, I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely jump in and uh, have a look and, and just address you guys. Uh, thank you all for coming. If you haven't subscribed uh, yet, uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I'm also on TikTok, so. I'll be putting the stuff there. If I do not finish uh, on the stream today, uh, this is something that I, I am I am going to, to see through. Um, I'll go ahead and put a time lapse. Uh, so you can just watch it and I'll put some music to it or whatever. So, um, but yeah, uh, thank you for coming. And, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and bring up my screen. Let me add that to the screen. Uh, there we go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start. So... Thank you all for uh, for joining in. Um, it was not really an impromptu, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So, as you guys join, I will address you if I if I catch your attention, or if you catch my attention. Either way, whatever. Uh, thanks for coming, and uh, here we go. So we're going to start off with uh, with the circle. You typically always start off with the head. Um, and then you just sort of, here you go, put like where the middle of the head kind of would be, and then maybe a little bit of the brow, uh, and then we'll bring it down a little bit and just say, okay, you know, chin is probably going to be right, roughly about there. So, so there you go. It's, I draw it very lightly, even though I really don't have to. Um, it's just habit. I'm I'm used to 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 not doing in layers still. And uh, anyway, so here we go. Uh, so we're going to have a little bit of the neck right here, uh, and we're going to kind of have him have his shoulders right here. Let's see his, let's see, shoulder, roughly about here. When you're drawing a shoulder, usually it's a little bit smaller or the same size as the, the ball or circle that you made for the head. And then his other one is probably going to be back here. So there you go. And then uh, just building him out, uh, we're going to make his chest right about roughly about there. Uh, you can add some circles for his chest if you want. Um, let's see. And his spine. So you just sort of, we're just going to have him just kind of standing there. Just kind of ready for ready for battle, I guess. Uh, again, I'm drawing uh, or I'm attempting to draw Hawkman. Hey, what's up, Steve? It is uh, it is a Tuesday because yesterday I I had some uh, I had some things to do at the house, so I was like, you know what? Uh, I am going to I'm going to go ahead and just just do a live stream because I I I done a lot of pre uh, pre recorded stuff, and I was like, even though it's easier for me, it's not as interactive, and I don't get to really you know talk with you guys. So um, I'd rather just, just go live. It is still Tuesday night streams or Tuesday night draw or whatever. It's all good. It's just the name of the uh, the show that I came up with because hardly anybody else is, uh, is live on Tuesday. So, um, but yeah, man, thanks for coming. I'm, I'm drawing um, Aldous Hodges. Is that his name? Um, Hawkman for the, uh, the Black Adam movie coming up. Um, and so I'm just kind of roughing out, you know, what I want to do with this uh, with his body. His back is going to be back here, uh, and then let's see, put that rib cage, I guess, uh, and just kind of you, you want it to sort of flow 
with the uh, the spine that you've drawn. And so that looks pretty good. Maybe his back is a little bit further back here. Okay. And then again, this is just a rough uh, guess as far as like where things are gonna live. Uh, and, and hey man, uh, <laughs> true. Uh, what did you think of the um, of the uh, San Diego Comic Con? It was my understanding that that uh, it was sort of an afterthought that Warner Brothers wasn't even going to to sort of be there. That's why they really didn't have much of a presence. That's my understanding. I don't know if that's if that's true. And then, so if that's the case, then that would sort of seem why it was sort of lackluster, didn't really have, here we go, and then some traps here, right there, there we go. Uh, that, that might, that might uh, give uh, a reason why it just was sort of disjointed. They just didn't, didn't feel like they kind of had their, their act together. Let me see, collarbone, right about there. Let's see. Okay. And right there. So were you excited about this uh the trailer for this thing? That's a little bit too much. I don't like that at all. Um did it kind of get you excited? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'll put it up here. Uh, Warner Brothers, or maybe Warner Brothers, uh, just wanted to see how the return, how this return to uh, San Diego Comic Con looks. Uh, it could be. It could be that they, you know, they were not really going to invest uh, much uh, into it, and maybe they were like, you know what? Um, I, I don't know. Do you think it was? It was because Disney was like, yeah, hey, we'll we'll do Comic Con. They were like, oh God, they're doing they're doing Comic Con. I, I should also do Comic Con. <laughs> uh, it, it could be, could be. Let's see, that kind of lives there. And his bicep, and then you've got the tricep back there. Let's see if I can live there. And let's see. So. Back of the hand, a little bit of that. Let's see. There's that one. Kind of put the put his hand here. There we go. So that or at least the air cut didn't quite make the cut either for the San Diego Comic Con. I'm assuming that they're waiting on on something else. And they're just like, yo, now's not the right time for that, bro. Now is not the right time. So, <laughs> what's up, Tex Voodoo? Uh, they're going, uh, let's see. Throw me one. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Hey, what's going on, man? How is it going? I am I'm just drawing out this guy real quick. But, yeah, no, I'll send you a link, bro. I'll send you a link if anybody wants to join. I'm down. Oh, that's not good. It's share screen. Why am I doing that? Look at me. Look at me. I'm being all technical. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. Steve. And TX Voodoo, man. If you want to join, you can join. I think it'd probably be better if I just search for your name. No, that's not it. I don't want to have you on there. Retro. Retro. Right? Yes. Retro Grave. There you go, buddy. Let me uh, let me put on my headset. Because without anybody in the uh, in the stream, there's really no need for it. There you go. But uh, yeah, okay. So here we go back to the uh, back to the drawing. Uh, let's see. Let's see where if that one's there. This one can be here. Where am I? Oh yeah. Right there and this one's just a little bit further out, maybe. I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to 
let's see, sort of have him holding his little mace. And I can go, that lives right about there. There we go. And then he's got a little, a little leather handle because he swings it around like Thor, I, I assume. Uh, let's see. Here we go. And then, so this is where one socket's going to be. Another socket. So we're just going to put that out there like that. And then, there we go. There's one leg. There's the, there's the friend. You see that? He lived there. Go and that's a wide die, bro. That's well, he's he's got some wide dies now. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. Hey, what's up? Let me bring you in. And welcome, Steve Kassan. <laughs> How's it going, man? How's it going, dude? How are you? Oh, man, I'm I'm doing it's amazing. been a while, it's been a minute. It's been a, you know, I don't I, I quit doing these things live because I was like, you know what, I'm just not finishing uh the artwork, you know. I just I, I get too caught up in and like talking to people mm -hmm. and it's just like do i should i that looks more like a horse stance um you know what's what's more important the uh, the finished art or just the hangout or, or what so i'm just like it's you know about conf mm -hmm. about confirmation that's what's important <laughs> yeah restore the snyderverse confirm confirmed confirm we, it, we, that's all we do confirmed all day confirmed project, all day project justice league too Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? So, uh, oh yeah, Andre, yeah. Andre released that today, uh, and and yeah, man. So we're we're really proud of it. You know, we're we're doing mm -hmm. we're doing it. Um, well, I'm glad yeah. you guys kept like not to go into past history or what whatnot. How and after all that's happened, uh, I'm glad you guys <laughs> at least uh, still went with the idea. Yeah, and, well, because at yeah. the heart of it, and this yeah. is what I this is what I told Andre. I was like, at the heart of it, dude. I mean, I was like, this is this is sort of a, a kind of a passion project. I was like, man, you know, we we shouldn't let this thing die just yeah. because just because there was a, a few bad seeds. I was like, yo, I mean, it's it should be bigger than that, you know. There we go. That looks exactly. Right. Plus, it's a uh, you guys put in a lot of work. Uh, no oh yeah, yeah, no, right. definitely. Definitely. I, I have to agree I'm not, not being mm -hmm. modest. I mean, it's just a lot of work. And then, you know, we just we um I mean and, and it's a great collaborative effort, but yeah, like we're there's only a couple of us doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, you know, you know how it is, right? Like even with our own personal projects, like we get we put in a lot of work and suddenly it gets dropped and you feel you feel so you feel so shitty afterwards yeah right? yeah 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 it's just you know i mean i had the the same thing with the with the star wars thing yeah i was about to on. say like how long like, did you invest on man the years star wars project? yeah dude years mm. um i i just remember when i was talking to andre about it the other day um you know i i'd mentioned something else that you know because he'd ask a question and that sort of brought up another another memory another you know instance of of like holy crap you know i can't believe it did that yeah there was something else that was brought up. I'll think of it in, in, in a second, but yeah, it was, it was like, wow, that's, I, I, I had forgotten a lot of the, uh, uh, a lot of what, what I not went through, but just sort of did for that project. It was just like, man, that's, I can't believe I, I forgot that or whatever, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, hell, you know, you, you've, you've got your, you know how it is, you know, you, you got your, your films that you work on. And, yeah, and yeah. you know, I'm sure that a, a couple of those have not seen the light of day. Some are still editing. You know, I'm still editing it. It's like, come on. <laughs> we know what that means. Like, I, right, you know, I know. It, even if it's 90% done, you, you don't know. Why am I erasing? There's no point to erase. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. E even if it's is 90% complete, you, mm -hmm. you still... You still, uh, you still don't know if it's gonna get done here. Yeah, exactly. Here. And it's 
and then you find out like five years later, oh, it, it came out when? when yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. So, Let's see. so there's. But yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you guys like went with the idea, went with the project, and at least it's out there. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Because in the end, it's it's it's, it's 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 a fan project, right? That's it's a fan project. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's I'm... you know, it's nothing. And the, and a lot of people were you know like, oh man, you know, you're you're putting the. Uh, the, these people at risk or whatever by by doing this this sort of work and i was like you know because we, we had uh other people that were attached to it and all that and, yeah, and yeah. it was just sort of uh like we're not putting anybody at risk man it's it's know. you know it's it's a it's a fan project yeah. and you know i i understand that uh you know a lot of things you know that, that are being done now have really kind of never never been done before by anybody yeah. mm -hmm. uh so it, you know there there's gray areas there's 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 uh there's things that you know you haven't really you know had to worry about or deal with you know you, there's been a, there was a barrier uh between talent and and fans and mm -hmm. and you had that for a while and 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 now that that is sort of gone or had that has sort of dissipated a little bit, it's it's like, okay, well, what are we what are we doing here? What are we what are we doing now? Yeah. You know, uh can can this happen? Is this something that you know can exist or 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 do we have to, you know, and that was the whole that was the big question. And guys, Smoothie King is the bomb. Smoothie King. Smoothie King or anyway. Um but yeah, yeah. So it's it's very, very interesting. Uh, interesting times, I'll say. Yeah, exactly. So, and uh, let's uh, see. If I go like that. Let me see. Where am I? Ha ha ha! I always use my own hand as far as reference. <laughs> there we go. I like that. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna go up and uh, over a little bit. Yeah. There we go. And then, and look at that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> Um, Look at that! But yeah, man. So, so what have you been up to? What do you got going on? Uh, just some. What can uh, we promote on this channel? Okay, <laughs> what can we promote? Let's see. Uh, do you know? Do you know Fantasia as well? Uh, you uh, talking about the Disney Fantasia? No, the um, the the, uh, the, the artist, festival. the the lady, the uh, film festival Fantasia. Fantasia? No, no, I, I I'm not aware. So it's a very uh it Sunday. It's very much a genre film festival. Uh, caters okay. to more towards a horror, thriller, sci-fi, and all. Oh, that. nice! Yeah. And this year, they uh, they had a ceremony for John Woo, and he was there to because uh, I think one of his early first films played in Fantasia, and it just sparked from there. So if you're very much into genre stuff, like it, it get plays at Fantasia. But I have a film that's out. That's premiering at Fantasia on Saturday. Oh, nice. Called, uh, and so you have uh, that's one that you're you're acting in, right? Yes, I am. All right. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Check out my man Steve Kassan in uh, what's the well, name? If you can make it, you can make it to Montreal. So <laughs> whoever's in Montreal, you man, go. Montreal is like right down the road. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just right there. You know, it's, it's right like, there. It's, it's like the it's like bro. Uh, I I could I could I can make that, bro. Yeah. I can make that. Um, exactly. But I have another film playing in another genre festival. Uh, oh wow! In uh, San Antonio. So maybe. Oh well, then that that is more in my in my neck yeah. of the woods. It's uh, I need to find out what it is. But it's a short film. Oh okay. Called yeah. uh, Mr. March. Mr. March. So yeah. you are, according to that, you're some sort of uh, centerfold. No. Uh, yes. And uh, yeah, nice. Nice. I, I dig it. What is this fucking festival called? Oh, here we go. Uh, it's the San Antonio Film Festival on August 3rd at the Radius Center. Okay, nice. That means, so. <laughs> I am not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I don't frequent. A... Uh, I don't frequent. Uh, I, we, we, we went there last time when... Um, Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Anthony and and uh, and Nicotina came. We went to San Antonio. We went to uh, Six Flags. That was that, oh, was, yeah, yeah. that was dope. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, sir. Oh, cool. So, mm-hmm. yeah, because um, uh, fucking uh, because you, you wanted to go for uh, what was it at the the, the, the the thing, Zack Snyder's Justice League? Yeah, right? yeah, we we were we yeah, were all set, down, right? Yeah, we were all that's the whole reason why we we did the uh, the Project Justice League, yeah. Um, and you know, and uh, yeah, Nicotina had that idea, mm-hmm. uh, to um, to do that. Let's see. Am I doing this? Hold on one second. I'm trying to. I want to make sure. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, and then this goes to that. Lives there. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, we were gonna go see that that thing, and and they they canceled or not canceled. Yeah, I guess they you could say that they canceled it. And yeah. uh, there it is. And so we were like, all right, well, let's just go to. Uh, san antonio because there was no real like there, there were other people there uh in in dallas because that's where it was they were like you know hey yeah you know um you know we'll hang out or whatever if you guys come uh right. we, we 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 were trying to get uh something going on with uh uh 3c films because he's over there and okay. some, some other people and then of course you know fatal j lives over yeah, here yeah that's right fatal. Me. And so we were trying to, you know, coordinate things with, uh, with that, but it just didn't, uh, it was, it was during, I guess the COVID stuff or whatever. And it was just like, okay, well, not everybody's keen to get out or, or whatever. So we're like, all right, well, well, we just won't do that. Uh, and so we just kind of kept to ourselves and. But then again, know, COVID in different states is like, you know, Florida is like COVID what's COVID. And then New York. Is like, <laughs> yeah. We have a yeah. we have a crisis here. Yeah. We need to put well, right, 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 right. It was, and and that's kind of the way it is here. You know, we, right. we're like COVID. What? And like yeah. that's something. That's something that Henry Cavill gets. Not exactly. Us. That's not what us. even no. Superman got COVID. Even Superman. I mean, you you saw even Chris Reeve, man. What am I doing here? Uh, okay. Even Chris Reeve. He was like in Superman Four. You know, when he got scratched. Yes, was that's, like, true. Yo, that's true. That's true. Uh, maybe I've that's the sniffles. Not that uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. That is no bueno. So hold on, let me let me fix this real quick. Are you drawing Hawkman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Albus, Albus Hod, Aldus Hodge, Aldus Hodge. I picked Aldous up his Hodge. figure actually. Uh, the uh, oh, you did. Okay. It's really cool. Like now, I've I've completed the entire Zack Snyder like Justice League line. Yeah, on McFarlane. So. That's I pick up uh, just a few things I like. I mostly pick up a lot of Superman. Yeah, I have one or two Batmans that that look cool, like the, the designs of it look cool. Looks no, better, but I don't really go and try to pick every McFarlane toys. Uh, or, sure, of it, but the Hawkman one is really neat because because of the entire design, right? So yeah, yeah. The design when you look at the figure, it's like very wow, interesting. Like, it's, it's a really nice looking figure. That one and uh, the only thing I don't like. Face. Okay, I have to say that the only yeah. thing I don't like is the ears or the other the, the wings on the helmet. I think oh, they're right, right, right. They're just they they they're they're too much. Mm-hmm. I think that that if you look at the wings on on what they've done in like Thor, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I think that size is is perfectly fine. Maybe mm-hmm. a little bit bigger, but the ones that that Aldous Hodge has is like, dude, that's huge. And 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 with his wings gone and you got this you know big protruding you know uh um wings coming out of the helmet it just it looks kind of ridiculous but yeah mm-hmm. uh, i mean you know hey may, maybe over time maybe it'll grow on me but for right now uh and that is just not uh that's not it's, i'm not down is it is it true that now with these ongoing mcfarland toys they don't allow guns or weapons in it ah man i don't know because uh, I, I hope that's not the case. It's weird. There's a, there's a a, a grifter figure, mm-hmm. and he just has two knives, but you know like if grifter is mostly even from his image days, like his image origin. Yeah, he's dual wheel, wielding guns. Sure. So, but then uh, a friend of mine told me, "Say like, McFarlane toys, there's like a new mandate. They don't allow guns or any any weaponry if, of." If that's the toys. case. Yeah. Then that's that's very uh, disappointing for this line. There's also the other DC Universe line that 
that allows guns. I, and I also think if they have a new Red Hood figure, like I don't think there's any guns, or the guns are holstered. You can't take it really. Out. Apparently, well, uh, I I don't see why on a toy that would matter. Yeah, uh, it's 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 look look we're not it's we're not highlighting guns. No, we're not saying hey you know what guns is and, and, you know and I don't guns mind. is cool man guns is cool bro guns is cool. I mean, have you ever wielded a you know or or shot a gun before? That stuff is is uh, yeah. that's next level. I mean, is, yeah. I, I have no I have no issues with guns. Um, you know, uh, maybe I, because of the last shoot, mass shooting and it, it, it could be. But the thing is, is that man, you know, if there are people out there that are shooting crazy, and and I'm not trying to get political on my on my channel, mm. but I mean, if there are people out there, you need to learn how to shoot a gun so that you can protect yourself from those types of people. I say mean, if, to... if you have a gun, dude, people are gonna not they'll be less inclined to yeah. use it against you if they know that you know how to use a gun and perhaps better than them. I say for these comics, go back to um those 90s-esque looking guns. You know, like they look um almost futuristic. Yeah. Right? Remember like in the 90s where even like with image and how Jim Lee and Lifel, even Cable, his guns. I'm like, yeah. what is this? Or even with Bishop, the way that yeah, his the, guns the, uh, the guns that looked, yeah, just too. I don't want to say too good to be true, but like too just 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 weird, right? Yeah, it does, like, yeah exactly. Like, Go back to those looking guns. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like the Gears of War guns or something. Yeah, even a uh, Grifter, uh, he had the two uh, dual pistols, but they look so, they look really weird. They almost look like phasers of sorts. Oh yeah. Where, like, if you go back to those early <laughs> comics, like, go back to those looking guns. Like, forget about realism. Sure, sure. Realism it's, it's is, comics, is only right? like, so good. Yeah, yeah. It's just comics. It's, it's comics. just it's comics. Just comics guys. No problem. I have no problem with that. Yeah. I have no problem with, with uh, guns. Even even the comic that uh, that I'm currently working on for myself. Oh, oh yeah? You're working on a comic? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was one of the, uh, the things that... Um, that I was doing for myself when uh, I when uh, Nicotino was like, "Yo, hey, can Yo, you do forget this?" Forget this so, stuff. Work on yeah, my forget stuff. the one you want to work on. <laughs> like, all right, uh, sure. I like, uh, and I was like, you know what? A... Maybe, maybe that'll work for me. You know, maybe doing something, uh, you know, that people love will yeah. kind of say, "Hey, that looks." See those, those wings. Hey, you know, weird. Zach uh, likes the post, so he yeah, does. He, you know, you know, he is he is liked. He's uh, like the first the one. He's like the first one. He's like the oh. second one. So I'm like, and for me, I was like, you know, is he liking it or is he, you know, he's is a he very watching nice it? guy. Yeah, I was like, dude, yeah, if so, dude, that that's, that's dope. You yeah. know, and and uh, and and it makes it, you know, I mean, you know, we didn't make it specifically for Zach, but. Just to know that that he's also sort of watching it as well, it, it makes it like not worthwhile, but also you know it just makes it. Uh, it's like wow, made it for. The I, fans. I didn't I didn't think we'd have that kind of an impact. We made it basically. for the fans. We made it for everyone. Yeah. All the. We made it for watching. for for everyone. Everyone who yeah. you know has a stake in in the Snyderverse and all. Everyone that. Like, who. Tunes into the Nicotino show on Mondays. Tunes into Four Nerds on Thursdays. Uh, you know what? We, we made it for people who don't tune into us as well. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, see? Yeah. That's engagement. So, I us. mean, if you don't tune into us, if you don't watch it, if you're not, you know, and and, and that's one thing that, that we sort of kind of hit is that there is like a, and I don't like that at all, uh, is that there is pockets of fans that, that feel like there has to be some sort of like the us versus them kind of mentality. And it's just like, you know, if you want to be that polarizing, yeah. if you want to, you know, uh, <laughs> then maybe this isn't the fandom for you. Cause uh, you know, it should be about like, you know, Hey, everybody's coming together. This is, you know, th that's what this was all about, you know? And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. I think that's good. Anyway, so this is supposed to be a rough 
<laughs> rough sketch and it's turning I'm, I'm i keep refining my stuff and i'm just like ah, and i keep erasing i shouldn't um but anyway so yeah there's that yeah i don't know uh, for me um with the wings like i haven't drawn hawkman on tons of times but yeah the times i have i always have because i'm such a 90s like image guy like i want to make the wings big and very like edgy you know uh-huh. but then it's like what is too much what is too little like how, yeah. what's the what's the perfect like proportion for these wings yeah. right 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 well i used to play a game you know i was kind of color that in a little bit for myself Draw the wings. I, used to, I used to play a game uh that i promote on the channel a lot um and it's still played uh but it is um uh dc universe online oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and the know. hawkman you know wings in there are are massive they're huge yeah. And, uh, and, and so for a while, you know, a lot of the players were just like, yo, we, we, we've got to have that, man. You know, we, we, we want that for our characters and, you know, we, we like, um, you know, we like, what do you call it? Oh, Hey, what's up truth? Uh, you know, we like the big wings too. And, um, yeah, you know, give us big wings. So, uh, that was, that was the thing. See, you know, you know what they say about a man with big them. wings, you know? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. You can you can hear. You can fly. <laughs> so so yeah, man. What were your uh, what were your thoughts or impressions of the um, of the uh, the trailers that we saw? There we go. Oh, for Black Adam and uh, Shazam. That's all we got. Uh, <laughs> that's that's all we got. That's all um, we got. the Rock Show. Uh, the rock, rock show uh, bro the rock show uh hmm well let me just say let me see about that okay well i will say okay oh and thank you thank you for saying that <laughs> well i will say this um okay the trailers were good i yeah. I, I liked them i liked them I, will I liked that. this okay. Black Adam trailer more than I liked the previous one with like he catches rockets now. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's dumb. I was like, that's come on, man. Uh, like we saw in 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 the Snyder, you know, uh, verse, we have Steppenwolf that already caught a rocket, you know. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> and uh, and so that's that's not something new. But they were like, that's not canon, so that, you know you can. You can kind of you can do that rock and then primitive weapons. Yeah, like primitive. Um, it could but be yeah, no animation model too. <laughs> oh, what's that? It could be the same animation model as well. It could be. Yeah. It could be. Um, just need to superimpose a rock's face, and you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. It, I I, th I thought that this was a more uh, a better put together trailer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Kind of put my lot out there. I think that uh, I think that Black Adam is is uh, is going to be seen as a, a hero or mm -hmm. as a sort of the anti-hero, whatever, uh, until it's found out that he or how he got his powers. And I think uh, once the JSA finds out how he got his powers, um, I think I think that's what's going to cause the uh, uh, no. Conflict. The one thing, or well, maybe, maybe our favorite scoopers might know oh, this question. That. The, was that? The favorite, JSA, favorite scoopers. You talk yeah. about uh, Grace Randall. That's right. Well, <laughs> well, 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 the JSA now does this does this take place within the universe that was set up with Man of Steel? I think that this takes place in the universe that that uh, Warner Brothers before Discovery was trying to promote. Uh huh. And so, and that's that's pretty much the only thing that I can surmise. Uh, is that you know it, it's because I thought it was going to be a period piece to be honest with you. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay, uh, this is in the past, this is before the yeah. Justice League. Uh, because yeah. this kind of even steps on, you know, um, 
you know, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, Wonder Woman, all that. It just kind of steps on his toes a little bit. Yeah. Because then where would the JSA be? Like, what, were they all hiding or something? Uh, Black, Adam, the Black Adam or? killed them all. So oh, yeah. <laughs> there That would be super neat. <laughs> that would be cool. If, uh, if in the end of the movie, he just kills off everyone. Uh, that would be that would be very interesting. And then, like, it Superman. doesn't matter about Hawkeye or not Hawkeye. God dang it, Hawkman. Hawkman, um, because he uh, not regenerates, but he um, res resurrects mm -hmm. or reincarnates or whatever the hell. Uh, so, I don't. Did I put that up too? Hi, let me see. I'm looking at my reference pictures, and yeah, yeah. it looks like the, the medallion should be there. There, yeah. Cool. Should I'll be. just leave that. I'll just leave that. I'll put the. Um, you know it's your drawing. You can it's, put it's, the medallion. I can, I, can, I can put it however Wherever you want. Now that's on the middle of the chest. God damn it. Okay, you know what? You know what? Something very easy you can do. Control Z. And I will. Erase most of that, and then there you go. So, so it's in the yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Z yeah. is yeah. I'm gonna go a little but, bit. You no, know, I do kind of like it, like where you place it on the. Um, I did. The I liked right. it there. I was yeah. like, that looks right. And because, then no, it looks. Like, yeah, oh, that's it wrong. Pretty like, cool. That's completely wrong. It's like Steve Kassan is setting me up for failure. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> can't fail. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, yeah man. So, so what are your thoughts now? Because I mean, it, it it's ever changing. What are your thoughts now of the uh, the good old air cut? I don't know what's going on with it. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's uh, the day they decide to put it out. It's like uh, I would say it's it's a good double dip. You know, you remember? Uh, yeah. Now that the well, I still collect physical media, but physical media game is still existent, but not as heavy as before. But yeah, there is there's obviously a fan base. So, as a see, no, no. Here's the thing: before, when everyone was on with HBO Max and all that, it was a good idea because this fan base would go in and subscribe. Yeah, but now there's so you much would, damage. You would, capture, and, you would capture, you know. Yeah, those there's people. so much like ill will and damage. Not mm -hmm. only with primarily your biggest consumers, the eighty for eighty-seven percent. So thirteen percent are bots. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Very much. That, so. That's got to be said. That's got to be said. 30, yeah, thirteen bots. Yeah. Thirteen bots. But all these eighty-seven percent, you know, so. that's. <laughs> that's your success rate for HBO Max. Yeah. And also your decrease. Yeah. Why? Because of this entire universe. So, you know, back then it would be a good idea. Now it's like, I don't know what you want to do. You can just put it out there. People will forget it. I mean, you'll get replay yeah. value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, not many people are like still kind of caught in that sort of, um, what do I want to say? Uh, we subscribe because of this or that or whatever. Yeah, it's just like you know, if if it's caught, if if, if they continue or if they c keep the uh, uh, the audience, then that's great. But I I just I don't know. I mean, they're, they're, like the Snyder Cut was actually kind of funny because it was just like, yo, people are subscribing for that thing in particular, and I was like, oh okay, you know that makes sense. You know that that yeah. gives it a. Um, it gives it, it it's unique you know it's like oh, okay you know you can only see this on on uh uh on hbo max yeah. and then you know hey i mean it's it's awesome physical media you know it's it's there you know i own it uh Same. you know a lot of people own it but it's just you know hbo doesn't have anything special now um uh with the uh, with that so let's but see. now it's uh, hbo and whatever they're gonna do now you're back to this hybrid model with theater and VOD. It's like you don't know. Like, the question is like, is there, is there, how do you capitalize on this, sure. on this model going forward? You're yeah, right. Right. 
because you can have a good business model playing in theaters and also then afterwards going to VOD after, uh, because there is a dem- there will be a demand. Mm-hmm. And I s- still I still believe that theater box office still rules. You get all you can get a lot of return. Yeah, sure. The amount of your the amount of subscribers you get. It it's good it's good for numbers but does it equal dollars that's another question I yeah. think with the air cut what would be really cool is what would be really neat you put out a complete because I still believe that the air cut completes the entire saga that this whole thing is uh yeah I, I it's it's a good companion yeah. uh, piece for the uh... It's one uh, of the chapters in the storyline, right? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like you know, hey, this is this is included because you know this this it, it does loosely connect, but it connects. So what you can do, what can be a good model to release it with, instead of on its own, you include that with Man of Steel, BBS uh, Ultimate Edition, and Zack Snyder's Justice League. Right. You include all these and Wonder Woman. So now you have a five part, you have the whole entire five part arc. Yeah. The five part story. And instead of the theatrical cut, you get the air cut included. So that's more incentive to buy this entire package, to sure. buy the entire set. And that's the thing is that, like, they, you know, they always re release, you know, stuff with yeah, like a exactly. little bit extra, you know, maybe footage or a little bit extra this or that or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, just like, hey, hey guys, this is, uh, this is something else that you didn't have, but you I know. have it now. But you, you had it, but now have some more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what they haven't released, or I don't know if they haven't done a re-release of, or collectors is um, it's a Maximum Overdrive. Maximum Overdrive. Who's in that? Oh, Who's that's what the Emilio Estevez. That's what the all the cars. Is that is that the one killing. where it's like a, a big uh, like a diesel? Um, yeah, yeah. We've got the Green on. Goblin in the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They haven't uh, re-released like a collector's edition of that for some reason. Or maybe it's a right decision. Damn, it's been a while since I saw I think I saw it last time. Right? I saw it, it yeah. was back in the 80s. I think it's been forever since I've seen it. But I was trying to look for like it on DVD or Blu-ray. I was like, no, there's nothing. Or yeah, it's... Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, like that's for me. I think that'll be a, a pretty good, uh, a pretty mm. good way to release the air cut included in this five-part compilation. Yeah, you can either do it physical or you can either do it as VOD too. You can be there. You can just you know, mm-hmm. as the you know, the Superman, the Superman arc or the the Zack Snyder arc. Yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Let's see. So now you got everything. And Dude. these guys, Warner Media, well, no, Warner Bros. Discovery, they make money. I know. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> yeah, we, we do not like, uh, don't. They, we don't like money. We don't like uh, money. So what we do don't like making money. do the, uh, the wings, but I will add them on a separate layer. So I don't have to worry so much about that. That can come up here and then come down. And then that can come up here and then go down. Oh, there we yeah. go. No, this looks like uh, gargoyles. Yeah. yeah, that was a good show. I love that show. That was a good show. Gla- uh, what was his? What was his name? Um, Goliath. A, Goliath versus Anatos. Yeah. Now we're talking. You, have you seen uh, the NECA figures for gargoyles? Mm-mm. Oh my gosh, dude! Let's see. That's amazing. Oh, my Excuse wallet! Me. My Picture wallet! Me. What, your wallet? <laughs> my poor wallet. No, I'm looking actually for for SD for San Diego. Is like I've just been looking at all the releases and all the exclusives, mm-hmm. and I'm seeing uh from WWE, AEW, Masters of the Universe. Of like, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, my 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 poor wallet. <laughs> give my Paul, give my wallet the power. <laughs> give, my, give my credit card the power, please. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me add another. So I have that. There's yeah. So much. And, and the, the, you know, I, I saw some really good, uh, some really good figures today, and yeah. I, I saw them from like the night the nineteen eighties, like turtles cartoons, and I was like, yeah. wow, I didn't even know they made those, and they didn't. They just they made them now. Like there's that 
mecha turtle and all that and that's mm-hmm. i forget his name but um yeah there, there's all kinds of interesting uh i guess so many figures uh, figures yeah i mean it's just like i mean i'm sorry but there's there's definitely uh, there's definitely a market there's definitely a market for that yeah because what's it how many figures does neil have in his room how many figures does acs <laughs> uh Dwayne has oh. in his room yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? He's he's got he's got he's got a lot of figures too. Dude, I uh, got... and and Dawson, he's been collecting a lot of figures and Dude, Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they, they are definitely know they're, they're definitely collectors, I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. And the thing is like I for me, I don't open it out of the package. I just keep it in the box. I don't know what to do. Like I just <laughs> I um I used to collect a long time ago and I mm-hmm. I've got uh, I've got a lot of stuff, but my, my stuff was like, it was all, uh, it was all Star Wars related and, uh, and, and I just don't want them anymore for me. Um, I'm just like, I, I, I just don't have any, where, any place to display them. Mm-hmm. So I'm what just I like, mean, what do I do with it? I, I, I yeah. don't know what to do with it. Well, what I've been doing, uh, actually every like collector shop i go to that's close to me i tr- if they have some old phantom menace figures mm-hmm. i get them because they're going for really cheap yeah they're like 5.99 or so i'm i'm thinking to my i i picked up a a qui-gon an obi-wan yeah. anakin see i, I was really there i was there when they yeah. first came out and i was one of the uh, the goobers that were outside standing uh at, in front of the toys r us's mm-hmm. And yeah, so I was just like, yeah, I was I was one of those guys. So, and these and they all have the, um, you know, the the communicator stand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's a little calm. It's a yeah, little chip that gets calm, inside. Yeah. The, yeah. So I have these. I have. I got a Darth Maul, and I have these figures, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking, why are they? Why are they going for so cheap? Well, the the reason why. Yeah. The reason why, and this is, this is the reason why I started getting rid of mine, is because that was the time when everybody and their grandma knew that collecting was a thing. Yeah. See, the reason why the other ones are worth so much is because no one was collecting them at that time. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a it wasn't a thing, you know. So like nobody cared. It was like, okay, well, you have, you know, you have figures, you know, and, and like when I had figures, I, we'd taken them all out. Nobody, you know, in the 80s when, when these things were coming out, nobody was keeping in pristine no, you know, no. condition. They were, you know, I was taking mine out. I was playing with them. You know, it, it, it was definitely something that, uh, and, and, and this is the first time I'm drawing um, wings? wings, bird wings on a guy. So I'm just like, okay, uh, maybe this isn't coming out like it should, but um, let's see. Well, it's just a base layer, right? So you just build upon it. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'll that's what I'll do. Just, you know, uh, was it? I find that Jim Lee draws wings the best out of all the. All yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 got. It. I, I'm I'm probably gonna probably scrap these, but I'm just gonna continue now just for just for fun, just so I can. He he draws some good wings. Um, was it Eric Larson? Uh-huh. Who does a uh, Savage Dragon? He does some good wings. Okay. And uh, who else? Uh oh, Neil Adams obviously does good wings. Wow. Yeah, not not too uh, not too keen on these, but you know they will they will do for now. Yeah, they, this, they, the they're serving right? their purpose for me, and uh, and that's that's all that matters. Oh, Michael Turner did some really good wings too. I'll have to I'll have to check out their 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 methods for this because i i get it and the wings are i i can tell like if i'm looking at this i'm like okay i i can tell it's wings but it just doesn't really excite yeah. me <laughs> uh these well, are now this, yeah well now well, it's I'm, shape yeah I'm, yes i'm just sort of shaping these things out but it's just like i don't know i just not very not very enthused on this one, but whatever. Uh, there's that. Oh man, 
and then let's do some wings in here uh, underneath. I think maybe the trick is like the first two rows would be shorter wings, and then you just have like these three, four longer ones. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's built. Yeah, I just I just sort of need the the method because it just yeah. kind of looks like they're you know like when they're not out I can I can do the yeah. I can do the wings when they're spread out mm -hmm. because then it's like okay you know there's there's yeah but when they're closed in, it's like yeah yeah like uh, how do you yeah exactly pressed it's like ah okay well I need to learn how to how to do this then yeah. and, and that's that's the thing is that like you know when you're when you're drawing you come across things that you're not proficient in mm -hmm. and that just means that you know hey you know you need you need to spend more time with with doing something like that. Um, that's me with uh with hands. It's like, oh yeah, hands, hands, yeah, are, hands are hands are fun, and but, but that's what you need to do. If you suck at drawing hands, then draw. Just hands. Keep drawing hands. Yeah. If you suck at drawing nostrils, noses, whatever. Draw that. You you gotta you gotta focus on your weaknesses because who gives a shit about your strengths? Your strengths yeah. should should slowly become your weaknesses over time, mm -hmm. and then you know you'll you'll master you'll master everything that you, that you want to do. So anyway, so there's that. And my thing is, uh, how, like, how big do I want to, do I want to make these quads? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. And then, then you just sort of build off of that. And then you say, okay, there's this one. And that can go back here, and then this one back there. And also, like another thing for me is like, how do I, how do I separate a Superman body compared to a Flash, like to a Flash body? Because, because even though like we all love Jim Lee, mm -hmm. like with Jim Lee, like if it wasn't for his inker and mm -hmm. also the colors and stuff. All his male characters, pretty much, and female characters look the same. They have the same characteristics. Yeah. Um, his Flash is a little thinner than his Superman, but if you look at his Batman and his Superman, they're remarkably, the they're the same. Yeah. Um, and if you look at, uh, you know, uh, his Wonder Woman, his Lois Lane, his Catwoman, various, various, yeah, yeah, very, very similar in 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 how they are. As far as like you know, um, how they look, okay. yeah. So, so now is for me is a, if I'm drawing Superman, and mm -hmm. if I'm drawing Batman, how muscular or how big, as a, like an endomorph, should I give their bodies? Yeah. Whereas with the Flash, I've taken to more of like a swimmer body, like make sure you have longer lats. Yeah. And a longer midsection. Well, the Flash was more like um, because yeah, say, it's fast, Iron Man, right. right? Because not not only that, but he he also burns a lot of uh, of muscle. Yeah. So he's going to be a little bit more lean. But yeah, in terms of like how I would draw the Flash, like it would be more of like a swimmer body, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to let's say, not a, not a bodybuilder for Superman, but more more like bodybuilders in the 70s like, sure. like with arnold's time right because they weren't bulky but they just like proportioned right yeah and, and uh, then and, he gets, and like, yeah no i i completely agree with with uh with that sentiment you know as whereas as like how they look yeah whereas with dark uh, dark side i would add more of like a 90s bodybuilder where it was just big and girth sure because with dark side like that would you would need like an imposing figure like that like Dark Side, Bane, Killer Croc, like those type of bodies. You know? Sure. No, I, I I can agree with that. I can agree with that one hundred percent. Let's see. So yeah, like Jim Lee, like great artist, but his all his stuff is the same. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, no, and 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 that's one of the things that that I admire is like, yeah, you know what you 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 make it look the same or whatever, but it's like I don't know, it just it it looks it looks amazing. You know he he's got he's got a great you know eye for uh, yeah. uh, perception and and how everything you know kind of flows together. 
Mm-hmm. It just, you know, that's that's what I that's what I most admire about uh, about Jim and his art is that like he can he can take something and he can he can draw it in in 3D space and it's just like oh okay well that that's awesome. Yeah. Or it could be like because you're working with deadlines, right? So. Oh, uh, and and that that could also be, but I mean, there, but there's yeah. got to be a there's got to be a point where like that can't be that because mm-hmm. that that can hinder the the artwork as well overall and it's like why would you why would you want to um why would you want to to have the art suffer if yeah. that's kind of what you're you're going to be remembered for is the art why would you put your put your artwork in that sort of uh position to where it can be scrutinized like that and and uh it's like oh well you know most of your stuff, you know, oops, uh, most of your stuff, you know, looks the same or whatever. And it's like, okay, well, then why is this person revered as as this awesome artist if if, oops, if all of this stuff? But then he becomes he becomes so good at it, like because you've been you've been doing over he, and over. Because again. he does yeah. say, yeah, re- repetition for artwork is key. Yeah, exactly. You need you need to have repetition in order to uh, uh, in order to get better in it. And like I said, you know, you need to to focus on things that you're not normally you know well known or, or good at, so that that no longer becomes a, a hindrance for you. Like for me, uh, after this, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna draw a couple more. Uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna study a little bit more about wings. Because when I set this out, I was like, ah, wings, I got it. But I'm like, you know what? No, I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, this is um, this turned out That's to be pretty, along, yeah. pretty fun. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look like shit either. No. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll go back and, and fix that later. But let me add some some details on here. Let's see, where was the? Let me see. No, that's not it. I've got some reference photos of, from the movie that I was looking at. Uh, where are you? Okay. So that sort of comes out here. Goes down the pant leg and, and around. So you've got that. And then that. Yeah, man. So what do you got next coming up for you? Oh. Um that you're going to start working on uh just waiting on some dates to come in so yeah yeah so we'll just so you're still in front of the camera or are you, yeah, you going to try your hand behind the camera no 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 that's too much work that's too much <laughs> too many uh, head scratching decisions like no just tell me what to do and i'll do it that's it oh yeah there you go i like that like that yeah, tell me what to do. Yeah. there we go that looks good. There his is. forearm. Let's see. His forearm has some sort of. Let's see. Is there a good picture of it? There no. it is. Let's see. Um. And that's his better? mace, isn't it? That's his mace. I just it nice. it's it's a it's a ball right now. Um. Oh crap! I don't see any pictures. Yeah, some oh. really good pictures of it. Best thing to do is just look at actual wings or bird wings and just apply it. Well, yeah, yeah, and uh, and I would also uh, venture to to look at uh, other comic book artists' wings, you know, what they've drawn mm-hmm. or whatever. You know what? I think that is the um, I think that's the symbol. Let me zoom in real quick, real quick here. And again, let's see. The, and I think that goes up there like that. It comes over. And then that goes there. And then it comes down. There's the bridge there. And then, then there's the. Oh, there's the something. Um, yeah. And then you got this. It comes out and. Back around, let's see, get that, and then that comes up. 
right there. And then there's like the tongue, I guess. Let's see. And then come up there. Oh, that's a little too long. Okay, hold up, hold up. Let me. This always reminded me, this symbol here always reminded me of like the Thundercat symbol. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. And I was like, you know, that's wh which one came first? Who stole from who? Uh, there we go. That's cool. That works. And then. But the Thundercats logo, I find, is much cooler. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. No doubt. That's that's one movie that uh, we have not had yet. And uh, we need to we need to rectify that someday. No, no, either either on. make it uh, full animation or CG animation. I don't know. Live action, no. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I think Rick Baker could have. Oh, you know what? What I didn't do. I could have done that. Right now, it's like level three. So there you go. There you go. And there you go. So there. That's. Oh, you know what? I can refine this a little bit. Uh, let me go back to five. Okay, that goes a little bit further. Yeah. No. I mean, I. I think I, I liked what he did with the uh, with the. Uh, Horrible Planet of the Apes movie. <laughs> I like what he did with the apes. And I was like, you know what? He could pull off a pretty convincing um, Thundercat outfit. Yeah, that works. That oh, works Andy Serkis, you mean? No, no, I'm talking about Rick Baker for like. Oh, oh, oh. For like, you know, um, for doing that. Anyway, there you go. I think, I think that'd be dope. There you uh, go. So sadly, there he though. is, and uh, I'll go back and refine that. I need to. I need this part right here. I need his his forearm piece. Like he's got a gauntlet, right? He's got like this 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 triangular gauntlet, mm -hmm. and I see it here, but I only see half of it. And when the, you're looking at the toys, <laughs> they position him <laughs> away. They position them all away, and I'm like, why? Why can't you show me what's What's, what is that? Is it is there something in the movie uh, that oh. uh, that's it's very special? It's very special, but apparently it's not available uh, for me. So that sucks. Um, it's, it's time to buy a, a Hawkman figure and open it, God, and then see. Oh, this is what it looks like. This is what it is. Okay, oh, okay. now I can get rid of it. <laughs> okay, so um, so we're just gonna kind of. Brush, but see if you if you look at all of these here. here I'll, I'll I'll tell you what. So here I'll, I'll I'll give you guys since there's three of you guys watching. Um, I'm gonna show you something else. We'll uh we'll go we'll go here. All right. So let me take this guy away. So if you looked at my lines. Mm -hmm. And you look how that's this messy. This is just the rough draft. Uh, so we'll take those off. And uh, we'll just bring in one that I'm not done with. Hey. Uh, it's the same thing. But um, this is Anthony. my second. Yeah, there he is. Um, my second attempt. But, yeah, the uh, the lines are a little bit the same. And that's what I do. I bring mm -hmm. it in. Uh, I work it out. And then you'll have something a little bit more polished uh, like, like this one. Uh, with more polished lines and shit like that. So that's kind of, I, I go back and forth. I do that. Um, I do that a lot. So um, that, there he is. And then, wait, wait, let me take that off. Yeah, there you go. There he is. There is Hawkman right now. Let me see. And so then, are you adding uh, Black Adam, Shazam, Hawkman, the entire, this entire basically new line lineup <laughs> oh, I'm right. adding them like are you uh, put yeah I'm, I'm, like a, I'm just doing like, yeah I'm doing the the new characters just sort of you know showing them off and all that and you know kind of giving I don't know I, I I'm I'm still a DC fan you know even though you know there's no current restoration of the Snyderverse or anything like that I'm still uh still a fan of DC you know I still like 
still like him. I'll I'll give him I'll give him a, a, a watch. Yeah. Like, yeah, so we'll see. Let's see. But there you go. That kind of I mean, you don't have to pay for it, but you can just always give a watch. Yeah. Support. Yeah, I mean, you show your support and uh, you show your support and it for will come uh, back tenfold. Anthony's movie. Right? He you know what he needs? He needs all the support he can get. Right? Uh, especially after he couldn't answer questions about Superman. Hey, you know, you know what? <laughs> you know, you know what? I don't blame Rock because I honestly cannot stand this guy. Who? What, what and, guy? Uh, uh, Henry Cavill? No, 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 no. I love Henry. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I gave wait, him wait, COVID. Wait, wait, wait. So, Behind the gauntlet is a red phone for Superman. What? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. Oh, oh, okay. So that's your. I see your link now. Okay. Banner comments. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have a we have a lurker. Um, but yeah, no, sorry. Uh, you can't blame Rock for yeah because I like, just uh, the guy who interviewed him, uh, Brandon something. Oh, I, I don't know this guy. Do you, you, yeah, you, he's on. You've uh, had, uh, he's on Comic with him. Com or whatever. I cannot stand this dude, and I'm <laughs> sure like Rock, like having just being there, like. Uh, you saw when he put up when he was it Andre uh, showed it. Okay, like, so he put up the fist bump and Rock is like gives him that look is like come on, bro. Well, so now okay, here's so one a, thing here's about a, one thing about that is Andre told me after the stream after I'd already made all my comments. Yeah, is that he edited to make it look like there was a longer time between. He didn't, you know, he wasn't just like ah. No, but yeah, even no. when you watch, like I saw that clip way so before live. you guys posted. Like even okay. when you watch, it's like yeah, because I didn't watch San Diego Comic Con until mm -hmm. I got on the stream with uh, with them, so I, I didn't know what I was getting into. But when I saw that, I was like, oh, sh oh snap! Look at that. But, that's but that's even crazy. when you even when you watch the actual clip, mm -hmm. like him rock being there, it's it's different when you're promoting and but it's there's a difference when you're promoting and it's just you but you have a backup like mm -hmm. when rock was in wwe and everything he would just go do promos like hype yeah. the match and everything but he but vince was always there and everyone was always there to like steer the ship but now yeah. rock is in a position of he is management now because this is all of this shazam was it a uh, black yeah. adam black adam's his baby and everything and and adding Cavill Superman into this entire lineup mm -hmm. like this is a big project for Rock Danny that whole seven bucks uh, uh, yeah. productions team so now it's a different it's a different animal it's a different stake of like you're giving you're answering answering questions not just as the star but as the main producer too yeah so now okay so yeah having to like having to what to say and at that moment, especially like next to this guy, it's like, oh. yeah. <laughs> so I don't blame Rock at all. It's just, this, it's just a matter of like, what do I say where it doesn't become a added on disaster? It doesn't become a San Andreas on me, you know? It's just, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's more gracious. and more and more. Yeah. I can't handle this. Yeah. Um, it was, and it's, it's funny, like, if you go back to wrestling, there was a point where, um, so I don't know if you know the connection with Roman Reigns and Rock, but like Roman Reigns is part of that whole Samoan Anoi family. Okay. You know, with the, the whole heritage, right? So there was a point where Roman Reigns was, in, was getting booed and everything and whatnot. And he won, uh, he won one of the main uh, uh, pay-per-views, the Royal Rumble. And everyone started booing him. And then what happens is Rock came out just to like piggyback some uh, – some cheers to Roman, like hype him up more. Yeah. But the, but the crowd kept them booing him because they just did not like Roman at this time. They totally rejected him. And even Rock came out and it didn't work. And Rock, uh, there are some reports like he goes up to, goes backstage. It's like, guys, listen, I'm trying to do the best I can. They just don't like this guy. So even Rock with all his power and at the time going out, he couldn't help this guy at then. So now, yeah. but but that wasn't his problem. That's that's WWE management problem. Okay, how do we make Roman? Well, like, what do we do with Roman and everything like that? Yeah, right. we got this whole polarizing figure. 
now Rock is in management positions. Like, okay, what do I do? Okay, Calvo's okay. Calvo's got COVID. He can't be here. What do I do? And what do I do? Like, this is my now. That, that, that was team. a that was a question. Let me pose that to you because I, I posed yeah. it to to one guy today that's uh, either either watching or not. Uh, he could be there. Could be there. Could be lurking. He's a lurker. Um, They're lurkers. Oh no, lurkers, man. So let me pose this to you. Um, do you think that they could have done something with uh, with with Henry as far as like not not with him per se, uh, but because he had you know he was sick. Do you think that they could have still done something at, at San Diego Comic Con that would have you know sort of solidified and said, hey, this guy is going to come and do this this thing with us. I think I think because okay, Rock came out in the whole getup. He came out in the getup, yeah. And you got this whole thing where it's like um uh, what do you call it? Uh he comes out with the whole getup. We got the lightning and everything and all of that. And he's got the whole cast there. It would have been a very cool visual if Henry showed up. I think that was the plan. But because of this, things changed. You could have still done a video message, but it's not really the same, right? It's like, I thought uh, you, you can do an easy video message of, hey, hey hello all, this is Henry. Uh, hello, Rock. Excited to see Black Adam, uh, October 21st. Yeah. It'll be a super fun time. Speaking of super, I hear. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know why they got you to, to write the script. Like, you know, something going on with Superman, <laughs> uh, something going on with Superman, Dwayne. I mean, it would have been, it would have been nice. I mean, just a video message, but it's not the same of him actually being there with that entire right. cast. That's a good photo op. That's a good promotional thing. And if you can't sure. do that, it's like okay, great. Now we got to pivot. I mean, they could have even they could have even to be honest with you, they could have even just had it to where you know, if, if you recall uh, the BBS uh, logo that came out at the other Comic Con, mm -hmm. uh, they could have had something similar to that, where you know it just showed like you know the the Black Adam logo and then like Superman's symbol comes up behind it, and they yeah. didn't have they wouldn't have had to have Henry at all. It could have just been like, oh, oh, there's this thing. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but it Very wasn't, cool. and it and it didn't. So I was like, y'all didn't even but, do that. But but you know, like these photo, like these events and everything, you need. Yeah, it's a better photo op if like you have okay, Henry Cavill, <coughs> Superman, mm -hmm. Dwayne Johnson, Black Adam, the rest of the yeah. cast there. It's a great, it's a great photo op, and everyone's sure. going to be sharing that image like forever. But. Things change, so it's all it's all uh, strategy and whatnot. Yeah. So I still say he, so. I still I still think that he's gonna be there at the end, like a post credit or even closer to the end of it. Yeah, I, I don't think that he's a part of the uh, <coughs> that that Superman is a part of the Black Adam movie, as far as like you know, a part of the story. No, no. Like I don't think he'll ever, you know. You know, you, you don't create that interaction there. You you save that interaction for for a full, you know, uh, a full outing. Mm -hmm. But I remember you and I exchanged on Twitter. The was it Man of Steel two? If you remember, if you can go back to our tweets, Black mm -hmm. Adam versus Superman, Man of Steel two, produced by Seven Bucks Productions. Yeah. That's that's the end goal, I think. That's the plan. I, I think that's a, I, I think to be honest with you, I think they're not going to do Man of Steel two with Black Adam. I think they would do Black Adam two with Man of Steel. You know, well, I well, think, think about this also. Like, think about this also, right? So, okay, you got Rock, mm -hmm. you got Danny. Okay, mm -hmm. we're we're okay. We're part of the Seven Bucks team. We're fully invested in taking our lineup of characters. Yeah, with DC. We have Henry signed to our management company. Okay, what's the biggest biggest power move we can do as pushing forward our brand and our production of DC characters, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, we have Henry coming in 
as Superman. Yeah. And we produce Man of Steel 2. Or we produce Superman 2, whatever it's called. Superman, the second solo film of Superman. Sure. And he faces off with, against Black Adam. And that's that's the story. That's you know, as as a producing production team, like think about it. that's that's gold. Oh, that'd be huge. Gold. Yeah, that'd be huge. Gold they they uh, I mean, to be honest with you, they should they should really, if they wanted to listen to the fans and let the fans kind of you know help them tell a story, I I would I would go and I would bring in uh um what's his name uh, uh Ray uh Ray mm. Porter yeah and I would I would say hey you know what we want to to sort of make our own uh you know hey you know Zach, Zach had a great idea let's 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 go forward with that yeah, let's put can. these guys yeah. in the nightmare future and let's make it to where okay so you've got you've got Superman versus you know versus Dark side or not dark side, I'm sorry, Superman versus the uh, uh the Justice League, yeah. But then you've got um who could who can who can go toe to toe with Superman? Well, Black Adam, yeah, so Black Adam, yeah. Make the Nightmare team go find you know Black Adam and release him from whatever and say, Hey, you know what, you know, we need your help or whatever, or or even so, you can go further. It's like, okay, you have Superman and Black Adam fight, mm -hmm. and you know. Because go. nobody wants to see heroes fight, they they make a, a truce, and then suddenly mm -hmm. you know you get another boom tube show up, and it's yeah. Dark Side, and now you got Superman and Black Adam teaming up together to fight Dark Side. You can do whatever okay. you, or even go with the whole. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I I think that uh, whatever their plans were, yeah, uh, for Flash, I think that was I think that it should be reevaluated. You know, I I think it should be hey. Maybe this isn't the, the direction to go. Maybe we can pick and choose some of these themes. Um, yeah. You know, it just depends. It depends. But it's still um, time. You can still do whatever you want. You can still, plans can still change. They, they, it, plans can always change. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, yeah. And, that's and, and even without, you know, these people there, the, this regime at, at, uh, mm -hmm. at Warner Brothers, it just seems like, well, nobody. You know, nobody's really there steering the ship still. It it just it kind of seems like from what we saw at San Diego Comic Con that it's it's still Warner Brothers. Even though seems, you've got Zaslav and all this other stuff, it just seems like normal Warner Brothers. Like seems like it's just rock at the time for this moment. Like uh, for rock. for being on screen. I mean or, you, or even, you even representation wait, wait, wait. Of but you even had Zachary Levi and The Rock behind stage. You didn't even have them come out together and like you know with the audience and like interact and all that. You didn't even have that. That 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 was a missed opportunity as well. That I'm sure that somebody had to have said, "Hey, we've got Shazam and Black Adam here. You want to put them on stage? No, no, we're good. No, you got to separate them. You got to you got to know this is your big IP. This is your big re release with Black Adam." Shazam 2, that's like, okay, that's yep. like a precursor to come in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Black Adams for, because sad to say, you got you to gotta evaluate these two IPs, right? You got to evaluate these two projects. Yeah. Even though I do like David Sandberg, I like his stuff. Yeah, I'm no, he, he, he came out with, with a really good, <laughs> yeah. in my opinion, uh, uh, first Shazam film wasn't groundbreaking but it was still it was an enjoyable film and if you're a if you want to like be a filmmaker or whatnot just go to his youtube channel and see all of the shorts he made and he just grew from that so it's, yeah. it's he's an inspiring guy like just to do stuff on your own like you can do it so i so i'm rooting so i'm rooting for him on that level but also you when you evaluate the projects, okay, you understand like Black Adam is here, Shazam is like it's here. Yeah, you, know, you can't, you can't really compare it, right? It's like if you go back to go back to wrestling. It's like okay, what's your main card, and what's your mid card? Well, if you look at yeah. the uh, the views for the trailers, even though this one is a better Black Adam trailer, mm. uh, Shazam got more views. Yeah, it was it was just a better 
received trailer uh, than um, than the others. So sometimes, uh, sometimes your mid card puts on a better match than your main event. So that's always that, okay. yeah, that, that, that could be the case too. That could, that could be. So it's, it's, it looks like everything is primed for the main event of Black Adam because you got one of the biggest stars. But in comes this other, this other mid-card match where it's like, which is I have too. Oh, yeah, it's just a sequel. But everyone watches it like, oh, we, we, like, we like this one. And who knows? Maybe that gets bumped up. So it all depends. Yeah. That bumps up, that gets bumped up to equal equal levels. But this, this is not for us to decide. This is for the fans. Yeah. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it happen. All right. Well, uh, this is where I'm going to leave this photo here or this uh, this image. So that's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah. What did, what did Very good start. Do? Sure. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, I haven't done a, a live stream in a long time. I didn't promote it. I just wanted to jump on and say hello. And uh, thank you, Steve Kassan, for joining me uh, today. And uh, if you haven't joined the Patreon, please uh, consider that. Also, follow me here on uh, YouTube as well as uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. I've I've got uh, I'm going to try to be on a little bit more, and maybe I'll go back and refine this a little bit um, in my next stream. So, uh, Steve, do you have any uh, any closing words? That's the fact, Jack. And there you go. It's too old. Yes. Too old to begin the training. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great night, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, check out our other videos and subscribe for more. Be sure to leave your comments and suggestions down below. Don't forget to check out our Tea Public and Tea Spring store. And a thank you to all of my patron supporters. Your support is much appreciated. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. This is Zebra Fett, signing off.